Hi and welcome to this lesson where this time we're looking at more complex trig equation, a equation. So let's have a look at what do I mean by a more complex trig equation. Well, let me start with a simple equation. Let's say we have something like uh, uh, 2 cos squared x is equal to 1. Okay, 2 times cos squared x is equal to 1. Now, if we had something like uh, uh, 2y squared equal to 1, we would simply say, okay, well, let's make it y squared equal to 1 over 2, and then we take a square root on both sides to get rid of the square, but then we must use a plus minus. In other words, we would have y is equal to um, 1 over the square root of 2, in other words, the square root of 1 over the square root of 2, or y is equal to the square root of 1, which is just 1 over the square root of 2. However, this one must have a negative because we have plus minus. Okay, now, so we would know how to solve this equation, and we recognize that it has two solutions, and that is because it's a quadratic equation. Our unknown has an exponent to the power of two if it was to the power of three we'd get three solutions etc and etc okay so this is actually this expression is is similar to that one in that this is a quadratic a quadratic trig expression trig express uh, equation I mean a quadratic trig equation which means that two cos squared x is equal to 1 can be written as cos squared x equal to a half okay so far exactly the same we can take the square root on both sides because cos squared x just means cos of x the whole thing squared so I can take that on both sides and then I just have plus minus and then he, therefore I get either that cos of x is equal to a half, uh, 1 over square root 2 or cos of x is equal to negative that negative 1 over square root 2 so see what I did on this side I, it, the whole process is exactly the same my first step in all my work is to get a trig ratio equal to a constant but in order to do that here, my trig ratio, in other words, I'm trying to get cos of x on its own. But cos of x has a square, has an exponent to the power of 2. Which means there are going to be two expressions where I get cos of x on its own. Okay, if it was cos to the power of 3, there would be three expressions. Okay, so in, in this case, I would continue exactly the same as before. I'll just have to do it twice. I'll have a reference angle on this side equal to 45 degrees. Okay, and I'll have a reference angle on that side equal to, not negative 45, because negative 45, cos of negative 45 is still positive 1 over square root uh, 2. It will have to be 180 minus, another quadrant where cos is negative is 180 minus. Uh, so that's 135, 135 degrees. So I get this time two sets of general solutions. The set for this one, okay, is cos, um, this would be my reference angle, plus 360 times k, okay, and that's of course the value for x, okay, which is 45 plus 360 times k, or it's for cos, the other solution is in the fourth quadrant, which is negative 45 plus 360 times k. Same on this side. My one solution is just my reference angle, 135 plus 360 times k, or my reference angle is negative, 135 plus 360 times k. Okay, that is what I get if I have quadratic trig equations. So here's a little tip, okay? Let the r trig ratio equal y. So just replace it with something. For example, here, that's exactly what I did here. I just said, well, instead of having cos squared x, I'll just have y 
in its place and then I solve for y and then at this point I could have just said okay well that means cos of x is equal to 1 over square root 2 cos of x is equal to 1 over negative 1 over square root 2 and that's this then I would have gotten to this step okay exactly the same and all I had to do was be able to solve that equation okay and that wasn't difficult so let's look at another equation like that okay let's say I have something like um, okay I'm going to say 2 cos squared x minus 5 uh, sine x is equal to 4 okay let's say that is my equation and what I want to do is I want to solve for x okay so here my, my previous suggestion was to let the trig ratio equal to y but which trig ratio okay well we, we're going to have to choose to work with one either with sine or with cos now in this case I hope you can see that we can't change sine into cos but we can change cos squared into sine squared in other words I could say this is 1 minus sine squared x minus 5 sine x equal to 4 and then I get 2 minus 2 sine squared x minus 5 sine x is equal to 4 now at this point it might be a bit confusing for you eh, to to solve this to get sine of x on its own when the sine has a squared so if it is confusing to you just do this let's just say let y equal sine x then I have 2 minus 2y squared minus 5y is equal to 4 now it's just a trig, uh, sorry, not a trig, a uh, quadratic equation. So I get negative 2y squared minus 5y, uh, negative 4 on both sides to get negative 2 here. Negative 2 is equal to 0. Let's get rid of the negatives. So then I have 2y squared plus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0. And now what I can do is solve this. In other words, get two brackets okay and I'm not going to go through that all that to get those two brackets I can see these two brackets is y plus uh, 2 and 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 so I either get that y is equal to negative 2 or y is equal to negative a half but we never had a y y was just a placeholder for what for sine of x so that at this point we actually have sine of x is equal to negative 2 or sine of x is equal to a half now whether you use your calculator or whether you use your common sense I hope that you can see that this is not or maybe not even not this has no solution okay it's impossible no matter what value you use for x you can never get the answer negative 2 sine of x will always be sine of x will always be negative uh, sorry less or equal to 1 and bigger or equal to negative 1 it will always be a fraction or equal to 1 okay so this has no solution there's nothing you can put in here to get negative 2 but this one we can solve uh, actually negative 2 reference angle equal to negative 30 and then the rest follows and I've done so many of those I'm not going to continue solving um, getting the general solution from the reference angle you know how to do that um, but this is my short video on well it's maybe not short anymore but this is my video on quadratic trig equations and my tip would be is just this just replace your trig ratio that has a square okay once you've changed everything into sine and cos just replace it with some variable so in other words the first step is make everything positive acute and simple the second step change everything either in cos or into sine okay then the third step would be replace or use a placeholder let me say that use a placeholder okay use a placeholder 
solve the placeholder let's call it ph solve ph and then the fifth step okay then you'll immediately have your trig ratio equal to constant then you find your reference angle then you find your general solution and if necessary finally you find your specific solution by substituting into your general solution okay that's me see you later